your good old Savior ship right here we're boarding on tonight. And that right there is Captain Snook, the pirate ship. Oh, we don't like that pirate no. ship. No. This week now we got some respectable pirates in here. Yeah, we do. Not all pirates are bad. No, we have Captain Pirate Snooks. Josiah. Yeah. He's a good pirate back there. So yeah, but this pirate, she's a right. respectable pirate. Yes, Laura, right? Laura, yeah, she's Laura and respectable. Pirate Esther, they're respectable pirates, but Captain Snook and his pirates are the bad ones. We gotta be always on the lookout for them. This is my first mate right here, and throughout the week we'll have some other characters popping up here and coming out here and there, but we're thrilled to be here with you all again. Why don't we stand? Now before we get, well, let's all bow our heads and pray. Pastor Seville, would you open us up in prayer? Father, we love you. And God, we're grateful for every soul, every young person that's here tonight, God. Lord, I pray that this evening, God, that you would give them a good time, God. That you would understand in your presence, God, that there is for this world. I pray that you would just bless and anoint the heart of the family, God, as they minister. I pray that the, the power of the Holy Ghost would just minister to each and every heart, God. Be glorified. Let there be fun. Amen. Remain standing. We got a little order of business first tonight we've got to take care of. What's that, Captain? We have got a novice sailor moving up the ranks and no longer a novice. Now they're an intermediate sailor today. Oh, okay. Are you sure it's not an intermediate pirate? Well, it might be an intermediate pirate today. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Josiah, come up here and stand with me. Josiah has, has a birthday today, and he's been here with us, so we're going to see him. A happy pirate's birthday. Happy birthday to you.
then you trade them in at the end for candy. Okay? You and me see the rice, so don't put it up your nose. Oh, okay. In your mouth, don't break it. Just hold it on. And you'll trade it in for an extra piece of candy. Right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You are Man, what the
to say? Salvation Sea Post. Wow, that's where we're headed to tonight. The first stop on the way to heaven is Salvation Sea Post. There you go. Thank you for helping. Salvation Sea Post sounds really fun. And you know what? You said that my luggage might weigh down the Savior's ship. Right. Shirt. Well, I just need to tell you, Captain, that I seen a lot of sailors that were girls this evening carrying in a lot of loot. And well, I think I will take care of the loot. Give me all your loot, no, girls. No, all no, your no, loot, no, girls. No. Turn it into me right now. We're going to weigh this old bucket down because if girls win tonight, which we will, then all the girls get an extra piece of candy. And then, if we count up the money, tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday, and, and Thursday, if the girls have the most money, guess what we're going to get to do? Nothing! Rogue <laughs> One wins at Captain Carter! But if there was just this big of a chance for you scallywag boys to win, yeah. I don't know about that. If you boys win, then I guess you... Let's see, then I will throw water balloons at the boys! No! And the little ones just have to say, I am the way, the 
truth and the light, okay? That's what the little ones, the younger ones say. But if you are seven or older, you need to learn the whole thing. Right. You need to learn the whole thing. Because we had even four-year-olds that learned the whole thing this right. summer. Okay, so try to learn the memory verse and we'll give you two points. So one for coming, one for dressing up, one for bringing your Bible, two for knowing the memory verse, and two for every visitor that you bring. So as long as they don't claim this church is their home church, doesn't matter whether they're your cousin or your aunt. You can bring or your, your aunt neighbor. That's 85 years old if you want. And you can get two points for your aunt. Right, and at the end we're going to have some big prizes. $50 Walmart card for the person that has the most. That means, are you going to try to win it first name Catherine? Oh, first name Catherine's going to try hard to win that. She's going to be knocking on doors tomorrow. She's going to be inviting lots of friends to church tomorrow night to try to win that prize. So you better try really hard. But if you don't get first place, there's a $25 Walmart card for second place. Still, I can buy a lot of ice cream. A lot for $25. of fishing gear, guys, for that. Yeah. All right, so you want to try really hard to win those prizes that we're giving out Thursday night, okay? All right, that's it, Ed. I think that's it. Well, or if I ran the moon to say your ship, you got my rule book. I oh, got rules on my ship. I know, and one of your rules is I gotta leave my suitcases behind. Well, and that's that's the savior's rule. I packed all those shoes for nothing. There's your rule. All right, we don't want the whole savior ship sneaking up on her shoes. Hey, my shoes are. All right, here's my rules on the savior ship. What's your rules, Captain? No spitting. Ew, ugly bad. There's nothing worse than walking the deck of the ship and slipping on a big old goober. Yeah, <laughs> Captain. Number two. Number two. No talking with food in your mouth. No, Cook don't like that. Uh, so no. no You'll Say make you skip your time. next meal if you're talking with yeah. food in your mouth. Yeah, it goes boop, 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 all over the place. Oh, That's he nasty. ate it all over the floor and the table. No. Number three, use the restroom before Kids Crusade starts. That's a really good rule. Right, go run in and out. Number three. No, no, that was number three. But Number okay. four. Number four. We're not Captain Snook's pirate ship. No way. So no cussing on the Savior ship. We do not say no nope. words on the Savior nope. ship. No sorry. Number five. Number five. No running on the deck. Yikes, you might fall over. Especially the when it's wet, you might slip over and top over the rail. And a big old shark jump up and get you. Did you see that shark? And no running in the sanctuary either. No, no. Number eight. Stay out of the kitchen. Yep, cook the Don't be sneaking in any kitchen. snacks out of the kitchen. No way. Eating the white out of the Oreos. Oh, yeah. That's a good roll, Captain. Number seven. Number seven. No. Fighting! Only with pirates. Only That's with the only Captain Snook. Yep, when Captain Snook, Snook shows up, then we're going to fight against That's Captain right. Snook. Number seven! Oh, again, number seven! <laughs> Keep your sword ready at all times. Oh, yes. In case Captain Snook does show up, That's we're right. ready to fight. What is our sword we use? Like to 
sit at your house and do nothing? Bored? No. Nothing. Who likes to be bored? Nobody. You know what it's like in the middle of the ocean and the sun's beating down and there's no wind to blow the sail and move the sailor ship. It's the worst thing sitting in the ocean doing nothing. That's why we got to pray, Lord, send a good wind by to get us to our next destination, the next post we need to go through every day. Because the sailor ship doesn't have a big old motor we run by our sails. So Blow our and we know when we were at to ask all you girls to talk. Oh, now, Captain, that wasn't very nice. All right, are you ready to learn your memory verse tonight? Yes, yeah. oh, yeah, we're ready. Yeah. You got it there, first mate? I sure do. It is found in John chapter 14 and verse. Now we're going to learn pretty good because we're going to play a game, God. draws the big fish in, 
so we can catch the big fish so we can have something to eat because we get hungry on the Savior ship. And so we're going to practice tonight to see how good of a thrower you are. All right. I'm going to put this right here. And in this box is part of it like John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto him. That's going to be the first one you throw, okay? So you got to take it, you got to, you'll throw it in the green bucket, you'll throw it in the blue, you find the next one. But by me, that's the very last one you'll throw, okay? So you got to throw them in order. If it misses, you've got to go get it, come back behind here and throw it again. So whoever gets them all in in the correct order wins, all right? Understand? Understand? All right. I'm going to dump yours out right there. Yours out right there. You should have six. All right. Yours should All right. Are you ready, girls? Cheer for the boys, okay? Oh, okay. I mean, cheer for the girls. Boys, you're going to have to cheer really, really loud. All right. You can come right to the end, back edge of that. <laughs> All right, on.
Hyssa. That was a plant, a little plant that they used to clean stuff in the sanctuary. Sort of like a duster. And so it's a hyssa, not his soul.
he got to where he turned 18. And he said, I'm tired of cleaning my bedroom. My friends don't clean their bedroom. I'm tired of helping mom do the dishes. I'm tired of dad telling me I got to be home at 10 o'clock every night. None of my friends have to do that. I'm going to go live in another town and I'm going to have fun. All the No cleaning out the horse stall. No fixing the fence to keep the cows in. And so the younger son went to his dad and said, Dad, I'm leaving. <laughs> and Dad said, no, you're not. Hey, no. I don't think so. I can still whoop your butt. Tired of walking everywhere. 
So it bought in a scooter. Yeah. Yeah. How many coins you got left in there, buddy? Yeah, let's see. All right, I'll just take one. Here, you can have the other one. One, one quarter. And you, but you know what? He's like, man, my friends, they're all going on a hunting trip to Africa. And I want to go, but I need a new bow and arrow. And so he had to buy a new bow and arrow to go to Africa. Hey, buddy, it's going to take you one coin to go, a coin to go to Africa. One coin for your bow. Wow, we're having a no problems, no worries. We're living the good life. We got everything going. But a scooter broke down. And so I said, you know what? This gets old after a while. This woman, I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the grade a little bit. I'm gonna buy me a price. How way I can cruise the town and sit my girlfriend on the handlebars and ride her around town. Man, that would cost you two coins. <laughs> Dig deep, son. You got any other money in there? <laughs> All right. Everything's going good. I mean, we got friends, we're partying, we're eating pizza, there's no rules, we can do whatever we want to do. But then, uh, after a while, the end of the month comes. You know what happens at the end of the month? Who's uh, Something even worse than that. Bills start coming in. And the bill collector comes knocking on the door. Hey, buddy, uh, I need you to pay uh, your house payment and the electric bill and the water bill. Oh. Well, I'll pay for the electric bill. You can have your air conditioner on, but you don't have money for your house. We're going to have to take your house. You don't have money for the water, water bill. Your pool's going to go dry. Not only that, guess what else happened in the land? The Bible said there was a famine. Anybody know what a famine is? What's a famine? Anybody hear the word drought? A drought is when no rain. Week after week, month after month, all of the crops begin to dry up and die. He couldn't go raid the neighbor's farm and get some strawberries and corn on the cob. He couldn't sneak in there because everything dried up. And you know what? He don't have a house now, does he? He don't have a pool now. So guess what? His girlfriend left him. All of his other friends kept coming. He's all by himself. Are you, are you getting hungry, buddy? He's getting hungry. Let's go walk around. Let's walk around town. See if we can see anything. Can I think Can I think Can I think Ha! There's a bakery with fresh bread. Yes, how can I help you? I have bread for sale. You want some bread? Are you hungry? <laughs> I'm hungry. You want some biscuits with jelly? Yes. He didn't want me with starving. But you got any money? No. Get out of here, you bum! And so the storekeeper chased him around and around. And he was looking here. Do you have anything? Nobody had. His belly was growling and growling and growling. Oh, no. I don't have no money, no house. My friends don't like me anymore. Nobody will give me a food. I guess I got to grow up and get a job. So he asked for a job here, but no. Remember, there's a famine. Nobody had much money. And finally, he came to a person. Ah. Finally, he came to a person's house. And he said, will you, will you give me some work, an old farmer? And the 
guy said, yeah, you can take your slop and feed my pigs. Yeah. Yeah, what, anybody know what slop is? What's slop? Slop is what you eat. It's like green stuff that you put in the middle and make great for all the people who eat it. Okay, that's, that's, that's part of it. Anybody else know? What's slop? All the foods you don't eat. Moldy food, leftovers that's been in the refrigerator for a week. All of that. Here, buddy, I want you to go feed the slop. Okay, farmer, when do I come in and eat? Sorry, buddy, I just have enough for my wife and kids. You got to eat what the pigs eat. All of a sudden, his nice clothes. He had bought designer clothes. Let's put this on. Because he was been living in the pig pen, now they're all filthy and dirty and torn and ragged. He's eating what the pigs ate. Does that, does that sound like a fun life? No. No. One day he was looking at his pig slop and said, you know what? When I lived at home, I had steak and potato on the table. I had chicken. I had pizza on Friday nights. You know what? I, 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 I had nice clothes every day. I had good shoes to wear. I had a family that loved This farmer wouldn't even let me come inside his house. I'm sleeping in the barn. You know what? I'm tired of living in the pig pen. So he threw the pig slop bucket off. And you know what he did? <coughs> he had his head hanging down. He hanging his head down. He started walking really, really slow toward home. Dad over here! Even though his heart was broken and sad because son left him, he never ceased to look out over the fence at the road every day. One day he looked out there and saw some bent over figure with an old coat ripped in. I was like, wow, that person's really had some hard times. He looks like a bomb. He got looking closer. Well, there, there's, there's something about that walk. A little sloped over, but my, my son used to walk that way. I took a look. He looked. He said, wow, that's my son. And dad ran to him, picked him up, and gave him a big old hug. Wow. You know what? Even though he smelled like a pig pen, even though he at one time wished his dad was dead, did his dad reject him? No. No, his dad said, let's, let's get rid of that old coat. Let's get rid of that. And his dad put a new coat, a new robe upon him. He gave him in summer. Uh, he killed a big old calf and they had a steak dinner and him and the brother uh, had dinner that night. Even though the brother was mad that he come home and had to share the room again with him. Dad was happy that his son came. The son said, Dad, I'm sorry. But you know what, young people? Sometimes we get tired of Mom and Dad's rules. Sometimes we get tired of God's rules. And we say, nobody else in school is doing that. Some of my family's not living that way. Some of my friends aren't living that way. I think I'm just going to do my own thing. But you know what? Anybody who's ever walked out of the house of God and quit serving God has always ended up in shipwreck like the prodigal son. But you know what tonight? Even though you might not be where you need to be with God, even though you might have drifted away and got cold, I want you to know there's a Heavenly Father here tonight with His arms wide open saying, I want you to come back home. I love you. I just think it's great, Captain, when the father wasn't mean and ugly and, and wouldn't accept his son back. I love that the father said, 
that he still was watching and waiting uh. for his son. I'm glad that Jesus is always watching.